Hi, my name is Shiva Nathan. I am a ninth grader who currently goes to Westford Academy in Westford, Massachusetts, and my submission for the 2013 National Micromatic Contest is an inexpensive microcontroller-based prosthetic arm. What makes my prosthetic arm special from all the other prosthetic arms is that it uses a simple, inexpensive microcontroller called an Arduino Dremelino and an inexpensive discrete EEG headset called the MindWave Mobile to enable mind control of the prosthetic arm. The Arduino, via a small Bluetooth modem called a Blue Smurf, can communicate with the MindWave Mobile and use its readings to bend the arm joint of the prosthetic and the fingers of the prosthetic. The arm part of the prosthetic arm is simple. It is a hollow tube, on each end of which is a servo motor. The servo motor on one end is attached to a gearbox, the drive shaft of which is tightly threaded through the hinges of a sheath on what remains of the upper arm. The tightness of the gearbox enables the turning of the servo to bend the arm at the elbow joint. On the other end of the hollow tube is a false hand with three claw-like digits. Another servo motor inside the palm of the hand is connected to another gearbox, the drive shaft of which spins a pulley system, so that when the servo spins one direction, the digits bend, and when it spins another direction, the digits extend. The servos, however, are useless without a controller. The Arduino Duomo Lenovo is a powerful microcontroller that serves as the brains for the prosthetic arm. It is powered by a 9-volt battery and is attached to a special motor shield. The Arduino, battery, motor shield, and the Blue Smurf modem are all small to hide in the prosthetic arm, as long as it becomes a little bit larger than a normal arm. The Arduino Duomo Lenovo is programmed to read the data from the MindWave mobile and use it in an algorithm to direct the speed of the servos. The motor shield, using a system called pulse width modulation, is directed by the program to pulse each servo via a simple wiring system to spin each servo to a particular degree and speed corresponding to the frequency of the pulses. The Arduino Duomo Lenovo was chosen in particular for its ability to communicate with the MindWave mobile headset, although an Arduino Uno can also perform this task but with slightly less functionality. The Arduino, however, needs mind reading for it to spin the servos, and it itself cannot read minds. Hence the MindWave Mobile EEG headset. Produced by Neurosky Inc., it is a discrete headset that for just $130 can read your alpha, beta, delta, theta, and gamma brainwaves. By aggregating your alpha waves, it can track how much you meditate, and by aggregating your beta waves, it can track how much you focus. It can even detect blinks. The meditation values read by the MindWave are sent to the Arduino via a, the Blue Smurf module to decide how much to spin the servo at the arm joint and which direction to spin it in. The attention values read are sent to the Arduino to decide how much to bend the fingers and in which direction to bend them. The blink detection is used to decide the direction to spin each servo and hence whether you bend your arm up, down, or curl your fingers or extend your fingers. Essentially, when you focus, the MindWave registers your attention values and alerts the Arduino. The Arduino then bends the joints of the finger. If you blink while focusing, it will bend them in the opposite direction. When you meditate, or at least calm yourself, the MindWave will register this and bend the elbow. Again, if you blink while meditating, the Arduino will bend the joint in the opposite direction. You will now see footage of the initial MindWave and Arduino prototype being used to spin two motors for the prototype arm. Please note that blink detection has not been implemented yet and neither has the arm. This is the brain control interface device, the Neurosky headset. This is my proof of concept, the Arduino Duomo of an attached motor shield, the Blue Smurf, and two DC motors as a standard for the servos. While we do not have the servos in place, please note that the Arduino can easily handle the servo motors as well as DC motors. Here we have the power supply that will supply the entire output. Now that the power supply is only to actually power these two DC motors for show purposes. Let's begin the test. I have just uploaded the proof of concept sketch to the Arduino and are now turning on the brain control interface device. If you look on the screen, you can see if you look on the screen, you can see the attention values and meditation values being registered from the Arduino to the computer. You can also see the two DC motors spinning as I concentrate more. This motor here correlates to my meditation values, and this motor correlates to my attention values. As my meditation 
value increases, so does the speed of the corresponding motor. Conversely, as my administration decreases, so does the speed of the corresponding motor. The same is true for the attention motor. Watch. As you can see, the speed of the motor correlates the attention value displayed on the screen. You do not, please note that I do not actually have to keep this up. This, this is just to demonstrate the correlation between my attention meditation values and the speed of the corresponding motors. I will now be turning off the show. I will now be turning off the proof of concept. As I hope the proof of concept just demonstrated, it is very simple to combine the usage of the Arduino microcontroller and MindWave brain control interface device to influence the world with your thoughts. Using this technology, I can easily construct a prosthetic arm with almost off-the-shelf components. I hope that this video has convinced you of the possibilities for my project and will lend you to grant me a kit for the upcoming 2013 Micromatic National Contest.